first of all, you got to give Ohio State credit. Um, did a really good job today. We did some things that were good enough to win and other things we did not. Can't have the ball inside the five yard line twice and come out with, with no points. Uh, one turnover, which is very uncharacteristic for us. Um, and then another turnover basically on downs. The pick six uh, was a huge play in the game. But we only scored six points on offense. We scored seven points on defense against a really, really good team. Are they good on defense? Yes. But do we got to find ways to manufacture points and yards? There's no doubt about it. So uh, we didn't get it done. Give them a ton of credit. Uh, and I open up to questions. James, on your, on your left. On that series in the fourth quarter at the three, did you consider giving the ball to Tyler Warren in any of those plays? Uh, yeah, we, we gave the ball um, to the running back, uh, I think three times. Um, threw the ball on the last one. Um, yeah, should we, should we probably have given the ball to Tyler Warren after the plays he made? Yeah, I, I get the question, uh, I get it. I'm, I'm sure part of the decision to go on fourth down is that you still have three timeouts where you could pin them really deep if you don't get it. What happened with your defense that had been playing relatively well throughout the game that it wasn't able to stop? Them? Yeah, not only that, you could get a safety and get the ball back, which puts you in position to win the game. Get a two-point safety and the ball back, three timeouts. Um, you know, they had a championship drive right there at the end. Uh, we did not play well in an obvious running situation. Um, did not handle, I think, the fact that the offense didn't score in that situation well. Jared on the left. Hey, Coach Frank, Glenn, right here. Hey, Jared. Um, I know after a win, we hear you talk about, you know, hey, let's enjoy this one for 12 hours. Uh, after a loss like today, is the focus, hey, let's look at Washington, or is it let's rest and review? No, we got we to gotta do a great job of making sure we come in tomorrow, make the corrections. But then Sunday night, we got to flush it and move on to Washington. We can't allow one loss to turn into two. The reality of college football is everything is still ahead of us. And we got to do a great job of making the corrections, eliminating the things that were unforced errors that happened today. And then, and then we got to find a way to get a win next week at home. And everything is still in front of us. Neil and then Andrew. James, can you address uh, some of the pre-snap, post-snap penalties, and particularly the one that gave them the first down on their second touchdown drive? What did you see there? Yeah, jumping off sides, an obvious third down situation. Um, extended a drive for them, a tackle and standing over a guy, unsportsmanlike conduct penalty on a third down stop, extends, uh, extends a drive. Uh, can't do that. Can't, can't, can't do those things. So. Uh, happened last week, happened again this week. That, that's all me. Uh, we got to be a disciplined football team. We were not disciplined at times today. Uh, Andrew? Coach, uh, you saw fans throwing things in the field, booing, very frustrated. What's your message to them about today's game? <laughs> I understand their frustration. Guys in the locker room are just as frustrated, if not more, but college football has changed. And we have an opportunity moving forward uh, to, to right some wrongs from today. And that's what we're going to focus on. I get it. We get an unbelievable crowd here. We get unbelievable support. You don't do that without passion. And there's, there's great things that come from that. And there's hard things that come from that. That's, that's part of the job. That's part of the job. And I own it all. I own it all. Tyler and then Adam. James, uh, you mentioned in the last week that both of you out there can open things up for the running backs today. Katron and Nick seem to have trouble finding that, that daylight today. Bo had one carry for no yards. Hindsight being what it is, do you think maybe there was an opportunity to get Bo more involved to find that jolt? Well, I, I think the, the plan was to get Bo more involved based on uh, how practice had gone this week with Drew, um, but we didn't have a whole lot of success when he was in there. So I think that probably played in a part of it when we didn't have a whole lot of success. When he was in there, we got away from him. Uh, where are you? Adam, Adam and then Mason. James, you can't control the outside, but as far as yourself and evaluating yourself in these big game performances, how do you do that? What significance do you put on a game like today? Yeah, uh, you know, again, there's nobody that's looking in the mirror harder than, than I am. Um, I will say this, and I've said it before, 
99% of the programs across college football would die to do what we've been able to do uh, in our time here, and that's we, that's all of us. Uh, but I also understand uh, when you're at a place like Penn State, there's really, really high expectations. When you're at a place like Ohio State, there's really, really high expectations. I get it. I, I totally get it. So uh, we've looked at all these things really hard. We'll continue to look at these things really hard. Um, there's a lot of things that I had planned on saying when I came in here today, but they are not appropriate to say right now. So I'll hold them till another time. Mason and Joe. Hey, Coach, over here. Um, so with, without Luke Carver's play today, obviously two sacks, but also, like you said, the outside play. What's it like kind of watching him knowing that he could also do great things, but also kind of hurt you in some of the penalties and other poor plays? Well, right now, in, in this setting, I'm going to focus on the, the positive things he does, and he's an impactful player. Um, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll make the corrections you know, in the locker room and, and we'll make the corrections in the meeting room. But he's a big time player. Uh, he makes big time plays consistently. There's things that we got to get cleaned up with all of them, uh, Abdul included. Last question to Joe. James, at the sequence at the end that, oh, um, I'm sorry. Sure. Um, at the end of the first half, I gave up the first and goal in the three, and then at that uh, play in the quarter, they ended up uh, being the interception. Uh, what did you, uh, what went into that play call, and what did you see from that play? What did I see on the, on the play that they overturned to an interception? Yes. Um, Drew made a, a, a nice throw. We had a chance to come down with the ball. Um, they called it as an incomplete at first. Then they reviewed it, called it as an I, INT. The guys that are watching on TV got a better idea of how that whole thing played out. There was a ton of 50-50 calls in this game that you, could, that you could call in either direction. There was a ton of them in this game. Uh, the fumble on the sideline in the near arm that goes out at, at the two-yard line, obviously, and is called a touchdown. There's a ton of calls, 50-50 uh, calls that could go either way. And in that type of game, they're critical. They're critical. Besides that, I, I, I don't have a whole lot more for you. Um, but, you know, obviously turning the ball over in the red zone and getting stopped on downs, two turnovers inside the five, that's really the story of the game. Thanks, Coach.